What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to identify rotational symmetry and angles of rotation, all right? So rotational symmetry is just when you're able to rotate an object and it's able to map onto itself exactly, okay? And this has to be done by rotating the, the shape 180 degrees or less. It doesn't matter which way we rotate, we can go clockwise or counterclockwise. The goal is just to do it with 180 degrees or less, okay? So for example, we have this square right here, right? So you can see if we rotate this thing 90 degrees, it's going to map onto itself, exactly onto itself, right? And then if I rotate it another 90 degrees, it's going to map onto itself exactly, okay? So this square has rotational symmetry. And that's gonna be true for all regular polygons. And remember, a regular polygon is just a shape where all the sides and angles are the exact same. Okay, so as you can see on this square, right, all the sides, all four sides are the exact same length, and all four vertices or corners or angles, whatever you wanna call them, are the exact same angle, right? These are all 90 degree angles. Okay, and a quick way that you can figure out what the angle of rotation is for a shape, well, Remember, a full rotation is 360 degrees, right? So let's just start there. A full rotation is 360 degrees, okay? So if you wanna figure out, for example, this square, all you'd have to do is 360 divided by however many corners you have on your shape, right? So the square has four corners, right? Or four angles or four vertices. So we're just gonna do 360 divided by four, okay? And that is equal to 90 degrees, all right? So again, that means if we rotate this thing 90 degrees, or every 90 degrees that we rotate it, it's going to map onto itself, right? So if we rotate it 90, it maps onto itself. Oops, there's 90. Another 90, right? Right there. And another 90 right there. And then lastly, this 90 degrees back to zero. Okay, so that's an easy way you can figure out the angle of rotation for a regular polygon. Now for something like this, this rectangle, this is not a regular polygon, right? Because all the sides right here are not the same length. So when we rotate it, you're gonna notice if I rotate this thing 90 degrees, it's not going to map onto itself at all, right? So what we have to do is rotate it another 90 degrees, right? So a total of 180 degrees. So this rectangle does have rotational symmetry, right? Because we were able to map it back onto itself by a rotation of 180 degrees or less. Okay, so the angle of rotation for this rectangle would be 180 degrees, all right? Now here we have uh, an equilateral triangle, right? So that just means all the sides and angles are the exact same, which also means it's a regular polygon, right? So if we wanna figure out the angle of rotation for this triangle right here, again, just start with 360 degrees and divide it by however many angles you have. So we have three, right? So 360 divided by three is equal to 120 degrees, right? So that means whenever I rotate this thing 120 degrees, it should map back onto itself, okay? And you're gonna notice that it's actually gonna come off a little bit because I'm not rotating it from the very center like I should be, I'm rotating it from the side, but it's gonna be kind of the same thing. So again, if I rotate this thing 120 degrees, Where's 120, right there, okay? As you can see, again, it came off a little bit because I'm not rotating it from the center, but if I move it back to right there, you can see it matches up exactly to where it started, right? And then again, if I rotate it 120 degrees, right, another 120 degrees, or a total of 240, uh, 120 right there, again, you can see it matches up with where it started, okay? So this equilateral triangle also has rotational symmetry. All right, now let's come down here. So this one is a pentagon, right? Five sides. So as you can see, it's a regular polygon, right? All the sides are the exact same length and so are the angles, right? So if I wanna figure out the rotational symmetry for this one, I'd do 360 divided by five and that's equal to 72 degrees, right? So whenever we rotate this thing 72 degrees, it should map back onto itself, right? So rotate it 72 degrees right there. But again, I'm not rotating it from the center. I'm off to the side a little bit. That's why it's coming off a little bit. But you can see it still matches back up to where it started, right? And then again, if I rotate it another 72 degrees, so 144 degrees, 144 right there, and we'll scoot it back right there. Okay, it matches up to where we started. And then we could do that going all the way around until we get back to uh, zero right here, right? All right, now let's go to this trapezoid. So 
Uh, let's rotate this thing and see if it maps onto itself. No, 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 no. Still no. What about at 180 degrees? No. Okay. So we rotated this trapezoid 180 degrees and it did not map back onto itself a single time, right? So that means this trapezoid does not have rotational symmetry, okay? The only time it's mapped onto itself is when it's where we started, right? But that's not what we're looking for, right? Because that would be a 360 degree rotation. And remember the rule is we have to rotate it 180 degrees or less, okay? So again, this trapezoid does not have rotational symmetry. Now this uh, circle here is a little bit of a trick question because whenever it doesn't matter how many degrees I rotate it, right? I could rotate it, rotate it five degrees, 10 degrees, 100 degrees, 0.5 degrees, 0 0.000006 degrees, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whenever we rotate this thing, it's always mapped onto itself, right? And I'll show you there is actually a circle back there. <laughs> so whenever we rotate this thing, it's always mapped onto itself, right? So that means there's an infinite amount of rotations that we can make and it's still gonna be mapped onto itself, okay? So the angle of rotation for a circle specifically is infinite, right, or infinity, right? Now, lastly, this uh, cool windmill shape right here. So this one right here, as you can see, is not a regular polygon, but the same rules still apply, okay? We just wanna make sure when we rotate it that it maps onto itself at 180 degrees or less, okay? So if we rotate this thing, it looks like 90 degrees, right? It maps onto itself. And then if we rotate it another 90 degrees or 180 degrees, again, it maps onto itself, right? So our windmill right here definitely has rotational symmetry. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.